Here we're going to solve a exact differential equation. Um, typically you'll be giving it, uh, given this in this form. Um, something dx plus something dy is equal to zero. <clears throat> if you're not given it in this form, you'll need to uh, get it into this form to solve it this method. So the first thing we have to do is we'll call this left side m. This right side we'll call n. Okay. <clears throat> so the, the first thing we have to do is solve m with respect to y. That means um, we will take the derivative of this left side uh, with respect to y. So this is going to look like 2x plus 6x squared y. When we take the derivative of, uh, with respect to y of this section, uh, this y is going to drop out. And when we do it in, with respect to this section, uh, this uh, y squared is going to drop down to uh, 2y and then the 2 is going to come over here and multiply times the 3 to, to get our 6 and so y squared is going to drop down to just y. Okay, and then we're going to have to do the same thing on the right side of the equation but uh, we're going to do n with respect to x this time. So nx is going to be 2x plus 6x squared y and we use the same method over here uh, this this x squared is going to drop down um, to 2x uh, the 2x cubed is going to drop down to uh, the 6x squared times the y and then the the 1 is just going to drop out <clears throat> and here we'll notice that both of our equations on both sides are exactly the same this means that uh, this equation is exact. That is the first step to solving these equations is making sure that it is an exact equation otherwise we won't be able to solve it like this. Okay so the next step let me go ahead and erase this. Um, we're not going to need this anymore just to save space. Our next step is we're going to need um, we're going to call f of x is equal to m and f of y is equal to n. <clears throat> You'll see why here in a second. So f of x is equal to m, so all of this stuff, 2xy plus 3x squared y squared, um, and f y is equal to n, so it's all of this, x squared plus 2x cubed y plus 1. Okay, so now we have to actually integrate both of these. So um, with respect to uh, x and y here. So when we do that, this f of x and this f of y um, become x squared y plus x cubed y squared. And then when we do these exact equations, we have to add on some term uh, with respect to y w when it's in the f of x. Uh, in the f of y we're going to have to add in some term with respect to x because it's something within this um, that has an x term that we just don't know yet. So once we integrate this we will get, let's see, y x squared plus x cubed y squared plus y plus some term of uh, x, so we'll call this h of x. And now we have our two equations. Um, I'm going to make this in red. These are our two equations that we're going to be working with. Now we need to find out what of these are similar and what is different about these two equations. Well this, this first part right here um, this part, x squared times y are both the same, so we'll write that down here, x squared y. Okay, so this term, get, uh, don't worry about it anymore. This term, x cubed y squared, that is also the same. 
So we're doing good here. So plus x cubed y squared. And now we have an extra y down here. Um, so what do we do with that? This is actually what this is was this is what's supposed to be inside this equation to make both of these equations exactly the same. So we'll go ahead and put that into there. So we'll add our plus y and now we have an h of x. Well there's nothing in this section that needs to come down here to make this equation look like this and vice versa. Um, so we can just say that h of x is, is equal to zero but that's unneeded. Alright, so now we have this equation right here and almost done. Um, our final answer um, we're going to place c on the opposite side of the equation and say c is equal to x squared y plus x cubed y squared plus y and there is our answer. So once again I want to go through the steps real quick uh, to solve an exact differential equation um, easily. Uh, the first thing we want to do is call the left side of the equation m and the right side of the equation n and we're going to use that throughout the entire um, entire process here. The second thing we want to do is uh, differentiate the m side with respect to y. So then we have my is equal to yada yada yada. The n side we're going to uh, differentiate with respect to x. So then we get nx is equal to yada yada yada. Um, the next step we're going to do is find out if those two equations are exactly the same and if they are that means this equation is exact and we can, ex we can solve it this method. The next step we're going to do is we're going to um, integrate the m side with respect to x which is what we did here and then we're going to integrate the n side of the equation with respect to y which is what we did here and then we're going to add these um, this extra part. Uh, when we're doing it with respect to y we need to add an h of x and when we're doing it with respect to x we need to add a gy um, and then we need to find out what would cause uh, the f of x to equal exactly f of y using the g of y and h of x to make that happen. So then we uh, take whatever is not on either equation so this side doesn't have this y and this side doesn't have anything that this side doesn't have so we can disregard this but since this side doesn't have a y we need to put this y into the equation and so now both of these equations are exactly the same. So once we have that equation, uh, that is our final equation which is uh, shown here and then we just need to add the c, the c constant here and then we're completely done.